hi guys welcome welcome to the video um my name is Lainey I am one half of the twin sister duo of this channel Nelly and Lainey um so I hope you guys are having a great day this video primarily shows the last month of the semester last month of school right um but I do have clips that extend prior to that because if I wasn't gonna at least put it in this vlog it was never gonna see the light of day and so I have some minor stuff from prior to this last past month that are, that are gonna be at the beginning um but yeah other than that <laughs> enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end hi guys so I'm using the built-in microphone so hopefully this doesn't sound too bad but I just wanted to give context to the first couple of clips and I thought that you know through text it might be a little bit too much so the first very first clip was one after one of the painting sessions that we had um we just went out to eat with the teacher my sister the teacher and one other student um and then now all these clips here are for the painting sessions we're painting or it's past tense so we painted 13 um deported immigrant stories not all of the people that we painted are deported immigrants some are family members of deported immigrants so there's like wives um, daughters things like that um some of the deported immigrants were related to like the military so they're you know they're like military wives some um, were actually de deported veterans themselves um uh, one of the storytellers you'll see here um he actually ended up coming to the school so he was able to paint part of his portrait as well which is a great experience um and this was like so heavy um to do i cried a couple times <laughs> i cried a lot actually during the whole like three weeks that we did this it was a lot um we had a little showcase at the school to like to people passing by and then post like after spring break happened there was an event with within the black latino studies department where you know the classes presented the products that they were working on this summer not summer this semester and so we presented this project, our teacher is making a documentary, so she presented the trailer for that. And then we saw all the other classes and what they were doing this semester as well. I really love taking, like, I've, I've taken this professor's class before. She's such a comforting person. I really, really like her vibe. Um, I like, you know, sitting in her office and, you know, catching up, doing lunch. Um, I like, even if we're just going in the hallway for like 20 minutes talking, um, it's great, just great. I took, I took her class this semester and like I said, the, the I, we painted portraits. I love that the projects are meaningful and creative instead of just doing exams. There's, it's a lot more hands-on and because these portraits went to the border. So it's like, like I said, it's a lot more hands-on and creative and yeah uh last semester we did we like we made our own children's books so like i said it's a lot more hands-on and creative and unfortunately i'm not taking her class this upcoming fall um unless i drop out of something and i need to you know replace it for the credits um but hopefully for spring of next year i'm able to take her class um because i really want to take her class uh, like a class with her one last time before i graduate um because i'm going to be a senior yeah um that explains everything i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog see you guys at the end so just just be grateful and prayerful for everything that we have and that we're able to exist in a space that we can eat breathe and and and, and live and play because there's so many of us who are not able to do that you know our brothers and sisters in palestine are not able to do a lot of things our brothers mm -hmm. in congo are not able to do a lot mm -hmm. of things so be grateful. Give me more snacks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because at the end of the day, we have much more than a lot of other people. We need to be grateful for that, first and foremost. So I need to say that to you all.
Tackle Titans because Haji has to die. Literally, I can't. I can't. Literally, cannot. I can't. I was like, Prince was like, did she survive? No. <laughs> She's dead with the others. And you think us, but I'm suffering. <laughs> Am I gonna not know any goddamn piece? <sighs> it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I finished it really good. I didn't think they would maybe like Aaron at the end. I said, no matter what they do, I don't think I would like him. Still don't. But talking to my sister about it, I just started thinking about Hanji again and I just started crying because I don't know why she died. God, I've been wearing like a bun for two days and I don't really, I don't do like, I don't do buns anymore. I think the last time I like did buns in my hair was probably when I was still in high school. Like probably around the time I did like my big chop. So that would have been 2020. We are in 2024, so, um, yeah. But I did it because I had my hair straight, and then it rained on Sunday, and I went out for an event, and it just, like, the humidity and all the rain and stuff, it, like, it didn't revert, but it did puff back out. What was it saying? It, yeah, it slightly puffed, and I wasn't going to, like, respray, heat spray, you redo it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, I give up. Um... But, like, I didn't know what I was going to do with my hair. So, I needed, like, a temp style. And, yeah. So, I had the bun in for two days. And I remember why. It's been, like, almost four fucking years since I lost it. Anyways, I'm going to temp color wax my hair. Temp dye my hair. Um, like, washable thing. Um, because it's been a minute since I did it. And, yeah. I've done blue. I've done purple. I've done orange i've done brown i've done like a golden yellowish color i can't remember i think that's it so yeah i bought a new blue i actually bought this last year um but i didn't have the chance to use it at the end of last year so i'm gonna use it today um i'm gonna watch julian the phantoms because that's what i do on a wednesday night i want to sing my heart out i want to feel great um i don't want to feel sad but also i want to feel sad at the same time so we're gonna watch Julian Phantoms and have a little mini concert in this room. Yeah, anyways, supplies. Rat tail comb, white tooth comb. I have my mirror here. Oh, um, a bunch of scrunchies. I have my lamp here. I wanna put less amount than I usually do, so I wanna like get a clear image. You see, like I wanna get a clear image of the amount. Gloves for each of my hands. What else? And the last thing I have is this like painted canvas sheet that I'm just gonna like lay out so I don't get like the sheets dirty. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Hi, good morning. <laughs> it's 7.49 a.m. I'm in the middle of my Zoom class, my last music class of the semester. It's my, and this was my first class um, that I'm taking this semester that it's the last day of. My second class was my tech adult 
developmental class um last days tomorrow and then i have two of my other classes last days are next week so that's great it's the last day for music before our our last like quiz test next week so that's also really really good yeah i was really tired when i woke up with my alarm ring because my class is at 7 25 in the morning i was like yelling i'm like no not yet not yet not yet but now i'm kind of refreshed but i know when like an hour hits because when the class ends um i'm gonna be tired i'm probably gonna go back to bed i've got to update you on what my hair ended up looking like um but it's just in braids but maybe later on i'll take this down and show you i don't know um i didn't finish julie and the phantoms i did this like the hair took like two hours and a half to do so i didn't finish julie and the phantoms but i'm gonna finish it whenever i decide to watch tv today and then i'm pretty sure blood of zeus comes out today i don't remember if it's the 9th or the 10th but i'm pretty sure it comes out today so if it does come out today because i want to rewatch season one and then go into season two like seamlessly so if it comes out today that's what i'm going to do after julian and phantom so, um but other than that i have very important tasks to do job stuff um, last test exam quizzes stuff so it's gonna be a very productive day come along with me this goes let's finish okay so i did not go back to bed i was on tiktok the whole time um not good but it's fine i'm still tired i wish i did actually fall back asleep um, because usually I would fall back asleep like 8.40 to 9 whenever the class ends and then wake up by 10. Um, only on the days that I have the online class. All the other days um, that I have like in-person classes, um, I wake up by 8.30 to 9 <sighs> to give myself like an actual morning routine. That was one of my goals at the beginning of this year to actually have a morning routine and I've been doing it well. Only on the two days that I have the online class, I wake up an hour, an hour and a half later um, than the other days. Anyways, I'm thinking a little low because my sister is still sleeping, I believe. I don't know, it's really quiet and her door is very close. So I don't want to speak too loud and accidentally wake her up if she's still sleeping. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go eat breakfast. Probably going to make some coffee because I think I might need to pick me up. And then I'm going to get started on working on the documents that I need to submit for this job. Fingers crossed everything works well. The coffee smells so good. It's, it's like this chocolate truffle coffee. It's our first time trying it. We tried it maybe like two three weeks ago we use like half a bag it comes like in a very very small bag small packaging um but we used it like two three weeks ago and now i'm using the other half now to make like a really big pot i'm gonna take coffee and then anyone else can take coffee and if there's leftovers we'll just pop it in the fridge for someone to have tomorrow <laughs> so far uploading all the documents that i need for this job and um, it's like the next step in the like process so just because i got accepted to like start uploading these documents doesn't mean that i'm i got accepted to actually work so everything's going well so far i did like the important like file documents now i have to do all the uploading stuff so when my mom gets home i'm gonna ask my birth certificate 
and she should be home in like 10 minutes so i can ask for that Um, the hair color is nice as always um, should have went lighter in the roots or maybe just didn't do the roots at all um, just because I think it's like way too blue some of the cast has broken just because I oiled my hands instead of taking the things down um, but I'm gonna like oil my hands more and really run through it to separate it more because I did the braids tinier than I usually do them so yeah, it's very like just like very tiny tight coils so i want to break up the cast more for that and plus usually like my hair is like bigger and thicker um and because it's like tight and and you know hard it's all very like scrunched up together 109 i'm just gonna do this until like 130 probably finish before that um put my shirt on and stuff because i did i wanted to make sure that nothing was gonna like drop on my shirt put my shirt on and then head out it's raining today so i have to make sure i have a hood and then also bring my umbrella um if it's like really bad but at least make sure i have a hood because then you know this is gonna wash off and then start staining like my neck and face and stuff and i don't want that to happen <laughs> Another thing that people are doing is um, when you go shopping and you go, you go to the cart and um, so you have to pay and you have to put your credit card. Oh yeah, the abandoned um, cart thing. Yeah, and then your cart thing because mm -hmm. then you're gonna waste their marketing money because they're not. People also said to buy stuff but then return it because the mm -hmm. um, company they will have like a record of um they're gonna have a record of people buying their stuff So, it's Saturday. I did my chores. 4.55 now. I did my chores when I woke up. Ate breakfast. Exercised. I woke up late, by the way. Exercised. Um, I'm in the middle of cooking. Just gonna make, like, macaroni and tuna. Something small because tomorrow's Sunday, so we're already gonna have, like, Sunday dinner and stuff. So there's nothing to, like, no reason to cook, like, any big meals. About to hit five. So I think I'm just gonna play some video games for, like, half an hour-ish. Like, while, like, the food is, like boiling and stuff it's like a weird period because like you know class is coming to an end last minute assignments or tests or exams have come and come and gone so it just feels like there's just like no nothing school related for me to do so now that i have more time it's just like i have nothing to do with myself um i have one last exam which is this tuesday for my music class and then one more final which is a paper which i actually have to check the due date for because i yeah i have to get get that going better than that like it's just literally nothing it's chill i know my next main task of the day is just finding something to eat so i'm gonna cook <laughs> It is the last day of school. <laughs> it's the last day of school. It's 10 in the morning currently right now. I'm going to school earlier than I would school. My class isn't until 
So usually I would leave by like 1.30 or 2 o'clock-ish to get to my 2.30 class. But I have an interview with my professor uh, because she's creating a documentary centering around the Immigration Mural um, portrait project that we did that was uh, um, installed in the border like a week ago. So I signed up to get interviewed. One is, this side is more limp and then this side's not as much. I don't know. But I signed up to get interviewed to talk about like, you know, my process, feelings, thoughts, stuff like that. So you can set your own time up. I set mine for 11. I don't know why I didn't set mine up <laughs> closer to class time itself, but I don't mind. I just ate a yogurt right now with some granola, um, maple almond butter granola, um, like sprinkled it on top. Yeah, I don't know. And then after the interview should be like 15 minutes long. It shouldn't take that long. I guess it would, it would go longer if I speak too long, but it should roughly take about 15 minutes. So then after that, I can just go and get something to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna see if you like, if I tippy toe and then like look straight, it looks okay. I still might go in the blow dryer. I don't want to look goofy because I'm gonna be on camera, but it's the last day. <laughs> until the professor comes and so yeah just chilling in the dark um my sister left to use the bathroom so yeah i don't think a lot of people are gonna come i think on monday it started off as a small class but people trickled in but i think because it's like the last day i doubt people will actually come or it won't be a big class it might be even smaller than it was on monday uh, but the professor did say she's also going to end it early, which is nice. Um, I'm going to see if, before we head out, if my sister wants to get donuts. I, don't know, I doubt she wants to because her, the morning class she had today, her professor brought them donuts. So I doubt she wants to get donuts again. <laughs> but I want donuts. Um, and I've only ever had matcha once, so I want to try matcha again just because there's a matcha place right up right next like on the same block as the school so i feel like i would I won't, like this would be my last time to try it again until school picks up again i don't know <laughs> yeah that's it
time that I'm leaving now would be the time I would come back. And I wasn't, I was about to not go, but I switched my mind and so I'm going now. And I wasn't gonna go because I, even though my period's over, I still have some leftover cramps. But I decided that I'm gonna push through it and go. Um, it's not bad. So I think I'm gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go. I brought my jump rope with me just in case, but I think because I have slight cramps, I might not do any jumping, so we might just do laps around the park instead. specs you see is cinnamon obviously not obviously but i definitely could have added a lot more but i just feel like if i need more cinnamon and whatever i'm making that i'm gonna use the oatmeal for like tea matcha coffee etc then i'll just add more cinnamon to those drinks directly but i don't know this turned out really well and then this not a pleasant sight but this is all the leftover oatmeal from after straining 
and so I'm just gonna mix this with flour and all the other ingredients that I need to to turn this into oatmeal cookies now I don't know the amount that is left in here so I don't know if my proportion and ratio to like flour egg all that other stuff is gonna go well especially given that this is my first time ever making oatmeal cookies and I'm not even making it with dry oatmeal I'm making it with leftover oatmeal but regardless it's either I you know <laughs> turn this into like some sort of like breakfast oatmeal bowl or turn it into cookies and I think I'd rather do that because I don't really feel like eating this right now and I can't store it in the fridge for tomorrow but I also don't feel like doing that so I don't know we shall see how this turns out this this is so cute look at the bottle and the book and everything i love it i love it now all of it fit in here so i'm gonna put it in one of my mason jars the leftovers or like the rest that i have but hey okay yeah now we're gonna go make some oatmeal cookies It's actually bubbling up. That's so cool. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come. Have a great day and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.